Yes, I love soccer. Run by Joe Slade. We are to buy. David Cockroft. Yes, I love playing soccer. She often play with her older twin brothers, Jason and Jamal. Jessica is a good soccer player," said Jamal. "Yes, for Pip Squeak," asked Jamal. The twin played for the under ten neighborhood soccer team. They were called the Red Dragon. The team had reached the final of the city soccer championship. They would be playing with sharks. They would be playing the sharks. In the morning of the big game, the twins were of the twins were very excited. When they arrived at the soccer field, they knew something was wrong. Their coach and the rest of the team of the team looked very miserable. What's wrong? asked Jason. Four our players, four of our players are out six. Sick, said coach. We only have ten players. The rules said say we must have eleven players. If we don't have eleven, eleven, we can't play. The Sharks will then win the championship. We thought of everything," said Becca, the team captain. "There nobody under ten that can play for us. I'll play for you," said a little voice. It was Jessica. Everyone laughed. Can you play? Can you even play soccer? Laugh. Everyone laugh. Asked Leslie. I've never seen you play. She's so small, said Dan. But she's a good player, said Jason. For this week, he said Yama. It doesn't matter if she doesn't even kick the ball. With eleven players, we'll be able to play the game. Everyone, welcome to Red Dragons," said Coach. "Just a gap in a huge smile." The coach told Jessica not to move or kick the ball. She was only there to make up the numbers. She knew that was unfair. Jessica wanted to play in the rest of the team. The team lined up, ready to play. The boys on the shop team pointed at Jessica. They laughed at her because her shirt was so big it reached her knees. The shop were a very good team. After only five. Minutes of play, they score a goal. The dragon was missing some of the best players. At halftime, the goal was shocks too. Dragons won. Jessica had not touched the ball. In the second half, the dragons were the ter- the main. To try harder, since Jessica was told to just stand in the center circle, it was just it was like the team was one player short. With five minutes to play, Jason kicked the ball. The 
kicked the ball high across the shark's skull. Jamal jumped as high as he could. He hit the ball hard with his forehead. The ball raced past the shark goalkeeper. Jamal scored a spectacular goal to make the score Sharks 2, Dragons 2. Jessica decided it was time to help. She left the center circle. The Sharks didn't notice her moving toward the goal. Even her teammates didn't notice her. It was as if she were invisible. One of the Sharks kicked the ball back to his goalkeeper. Jessica ran to the ball and reached it before the goalie. Jessica kicked the ball as hard as she could. The shark goalie dived to stop the ball. Jessica kick was too powerful. She scored the winning goal. The reviewer blew his whistle to end the game. The Dragons were the championships. You're a great soccer player, said Jamal. Sorry for dubbing you, for dubbing you, said the coach. The rest of the Dragons agreed. Goodbye.